Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In my previous video, we showed how you could take any 2D image and convert it into a 3D model using some free image to 3D model AI program. And the results after that were pretty darn good. So in this video, we'll be checking out what a paid image to 3D software could do. Can it give us better results? How many free models can we get out of it before it asks us to pay money and much more. Also, we're going to take this model and import it into Unreal Engine. That way you can use it as a game ready character model. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So here here we are on meshi.ai so you can go ahead and just sign in or create an account with your google account and i'm here at the image to 3d i'm not going to do text to 3d because i don't want to take the chance of writing a terrible prompt and then wasting my credits so as you can see i have actually 200 credits right now that i didn't even pay for so this comes with the free trial currently it looks like we have 10 credits it's 50 percent off i guess during this holiday season to generate a image to 3D. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to take our classic troll model and upload that just to see and compare it to the other result. So here it is. We have the goblin warrior. We have auto symmetry. Let's go ahead and click generate. And it looks like we have our model here. So go ahead and click on this. So here it is. This is how well it did. It actually did pretty darn good. Like it got really good details. As you can see, we have things like the cloth on the back which wasn't even part of the image. So it looks like it gave us four different results here. And before we get any further on into the video, I want to quickly tell you about our sponsor for this video. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well, I was in your same position many years ago, and so that's why I created the Ultimate Unreal Engine 5 Multiplayer Survival Game Course. This course will teach you step-by-step -step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and plans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam-packed with over over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount. The price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer so take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below and I'm looking at this result in the top right corner so it looks like we have different sort of belts I think this top right one did the best results overall so yeah front view let's go ahead and check out side view and back view let me know your guys thoughts which model did the best I'm going to select the top right one and go ahead and click confirm looks like we don't use any credits to confirm that one so it'll go ahead and remesh that. Okay, so we just finished remeshing that. So here is our model. Let's go ahead and pull this up. So here is the results. Honestly, the preview looked a lot better. It's going to be really hard with this part over here because a lot of this is connected to the player. But right now this is using the quad view. So let's go into the wireframe. This is what the topology looks like, which is not bad. Honestly, with the free version, I believe, it was triangulated, or at least the topology wasn't the greatest. Plus, in the free version, a lot of the vertices weren't connected, so we had to go into Blender and fix that. So let's go ahead and actually generate our texture. So let's go to the texture section. Go ahead and generate the texture. It looks like it costs 10 credits for this one, so let's go ahead and texture that. Now, I'm not sponsored by these guys in any way. They didn't reach out to me. I'm, I'm just making a completely unbiased video, checking out their tools and seeing if they're any good. And there's our texture. So let's go ahead and click on this. And wow, that actually did pretty darn good, honestly. If we zoom in on it, it doesn't look super well, especially in the areas that are shadowed by the arms. Maybe if we had this character in like a T-pose, it would look a lot better. But overall, it did pretty decent. Like the face actually turned out pretty well. And I'm pretty pleased with the results. So that was 20 credits, by the way, guys. So 10, we're down to 180. So you can have a total of 10 free models and with textures that you can generate right now on Meshi. I think they're running like a holiday 
50% uh, off. So you guys can sign up for free and just generate 10 models to test it out without having to pay for anything. Let's go ahead and try and download this. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. We have FBX. Go ahead and download that format. And I think that downloaded the texture. Let's just double check and see. Yeah, so we have the model and the texture included. So that's everything that we need. So let's go ahead and take this model and just double check everything in Blender. So open up Blender. Let's go ahead and file, import a FBX file, and then just navigate to the folder. We'll select that and we'll just click import FBX. So here's our FBX model. A lot of times they'll put the pivot point down here at the very center of the model. So we can just modify that by selecting the model, press tab to edit, press G and X. And we can go into the right view by clicking six, press G again, and we can just position it like that. So that is our model. Let's go ahead and just export this file export as FBX. So you can do selected objects in here. We'll just name this to SK underscore work that FBX and export that. Now it's time to head over to Mixamo. So go ahead and log in with your Google account or create an account. So let's go ahead and upload the character by clicking the upload. We'll do a full comparison of the two models after we're done. So here's our wrists. Then we have to have our elbows and then our knees right over here. We'll do no finger skeleton and we'll click next. Okay, so it looks like we're having some issues. Yeah, so I don't even know if this thing will let us rig it. Uh, so we're really having some trouble. I'm gonna keep trying again for a couple times and I'll come back. Anyways, well that is auto rigging. We're gonna go ahead and generate another model. So let's go to new model. In this case, I have these two soldier models that I wanna try out. So I want to make like this toy soldier character. So I think I'm gonna try with this one right here. So we have our toy soldier. Let's go ahead and generate this. Yeah, and I guess Mixamo just doesn't want to work with us for this particular model. So we're just going to import this into Unreal Engine. That might be something that you'll need to manually rig. Okay, so here is our toy soldier model. Dang, it actually looks pretty good. So we have four different variants. This is the back. This is the side. And this is the front. So let me know which result is the best. But I'm going to go ahead and pick... The top right, that one looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and click on that. Actually, let's zoom up. And this result always looks good. I don't know why. So let's go ahead and zoom that. Select that. We can remesh that. And also, let's go ahead and also texture that. So remesh, texture, we have quad. Click confirm. So that should generate the mesh plus the texture all in one go. So yeah, here is the model. Let's go ahead and click on this. And this actually did a pretty decent job. I'm actually really impressed overall with the texture and the model of this character. Hey, the face <laughs> kind of looks like he's wearing a mask. Uh, this guy's supposed to be completely green, like a toy soldier, you know? So honestly, I'm pretty pleased with the results. The little wrinkles in the clothing, the different pockets, Turn out pretty nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and download this. Let's go ahead and download the FBX. And that is 160. So we're at 160 credits. We can generate eight more character models if we'd like. But we're going to go ahead and take the results into here. So this is the trellis character over here. One that we got for free, which honestly was pretty darn good. So we're going to go ahead and import the other one from Meshi. So let's go ahead and dock this. Create a new folder for this one and we'll drag and drop our character model, click import, and we're gonna need the texture as well. So let's open up our material and we can just delete all this, drag in our base color RGB, add some simple constants here, and there's our character model. So let's go ahead and drag this in here and rotate it. So yeah, you can definitely see a major difference in the character model's color. So you can see the skin color, and I'll throw up the image of the character that we're trying to generate. But as you can see, the boots, honestly, I kind of like the color of these boots, the style. But unfortunately, the part of the texture on here is really dark. So as you can see, the back is super dark, whereas the texture from Meshi did well. So this one on the left is Trellis, which is the free one, the free version which honestly did really good job with things like the belt, getting the clear distinction against 
the belt, the armor pieces, and the actual character model so you can see how well it you know, transitions. Over here on Meshi, look at that. There's no clear distinction between the armor piece. The belt just blends into the body. So definitely losing some points for that. But as you can see, the texture did pretty well, except for the ears. Look at the back of the ears. So you definitely need to go and fix that in Photoshop if you would actually use that. But you can see over here, these ears turned out pretty darn well. So you can see and compare the results of both of those. And now let's go ahead and check out the toy soldier. And so here is our toy soldier. I didn't fix the pivot point. It's kind of in the center location. But yeah, look at that, guys. That actually turned out pretty darn well. So I'm thinking the texturing on Meshi is actually pretty decent. Although some parts on Trellis did way better, like the stylized armor pieces. But as you can see, this is what the texturing looks like on this toy soldier. And the topology is really good as well. So if I were to show you guys the wireframe mode, that is basically what we're looking at. This one is actually Nanite model. So I think, I'm not sure why it's looking weird in the wireframe. Could be because it's Nanite enabled. But as you can see, this is like a game ready topology. So pretty darn good. And let me actually increase the specularity of this character because I want this to be sort of a super shiny toy soldier. So let's crank this up to one. Okay, so there's our plastic toy soldier that's what he looks like honestly i like the texture before so maybe i'll change that back but yeah let me know what your guys' thoughts on this are down in the comments down below you could basically generate a lot of different characters from this at least 10 uh, free characters before they try to kick you over to a paid plan i want to actually try and rig this character up in mixamo it might have some issues over here but it looks like part of the body is separated from the mesh might be connected yeah right there so that might be an issue but we'll have to see and let's go ahead and place all of our markers our wrists elbows and knees and groin and we'll use the no finger skeleton click next and this guy might have some issues I think it's best if you have these guys generated in the t-pose so when you go to your image prompt it's better to just generate them in the T-pose or at least have their arms extended to some extent. That way, when you bring it to Mixamo, it's not going to have issues placing the markers and rigging the character model because as you can see, it's really having some issues. So maybe we won't be able to rig this at least automatically with Mixamo. So maybe keep in mind when you're generating your images to have them in the T-pose. But yeah, those are the results. So that is a Trellis the Free model, as you can see. Very detailed uh, accessories. And overall, really good job with stuff like the textures. And you can even see like parts of the bolt there even have a little bit of model to them, which is pretty impressive. But as you can see over here, quite a bit of flat topology with that. And not a really good job trying to create some distinct texturing there. But it definitely did a lot better with dark shadows. So as you can see, this part is having some really bad trouble with shadows. So you can see the back is completely dark, whereas this guy's back is completely fine. And the ears, you can see the distinction with the ears. And then with this soldier model, my only gripe is I should have generated him in the T-pose because you can see part of his arms might be attached to the character's body. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. And I could use this as, you know, like a character model or something like that. Or maybe you could use this as like a background prop. But yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts on this down in the comments down below. You guys can use the website Meshi to see the results yourself. Like I said, you have a total of 10 models that you can generate for free. And I'm wondering if you just create another account, you can just get another 200 free credits and generate 10 more models on that. Maybe you have to see if it's, you know, IP locked, but yeah, check that out. Link in the description below and compare the results to the free image to 3D software. You guys can check out my previous video that I covered that, but I'd be interested to hear you guys' thoughts on this down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.